All right, hey guys, what is up? And welcome to my channel. If you're new to Half Rock Face Productions, go ahead, subscribe, smash the bell for notifications, and uh, you know, leave some comments below. I think it's cool that you leave input below. Um, you know, some some of it is pretty entertaining, fun to read, and I'll let you know that I've taken the time to actually read your comment. I always heart them. Now, on this episode of Straight to the Field, we're gonna talk about three things, and I'll even give you some bonus stuff at the end um, that's happening in the military police corps um, as far as in the US Army but the top three things that we're going to talk about mainly are they're all Space Force related their new operational duty uniform their new logo and the newly elected leader of the Space Force right so stick around you don't want to miss this All right, hey guys, uh, so welcome back. Um, is it recording? All right, it's re it's re I'm checking to make sure it's recording because this is the second time I'm doing this. The first time I forgot to push the button. Um, but anyway, uh, this is the this is not the first video that I've uploaded in 2020, but it is the first vlog, and I do want to say really quick to the subscribers and even the viewers, Happy New Year! I hope uh, your Christmas and, and you know all, all your holidays went well uh, because mine did. All right, so really quick, in case you're new to the channel, let me just explain what Straight to the Field is. Straight to the Field is a video series in which I talk about all of the changes, things happening, what's going on in the U.S. Army. Um, that's that's pretty much it's fresh. I put it all together in a in a video and it's uploaded to my channel just for you. Um, and I, I do normally talk about the U.S. Army because I'm in the Army, but this is really big news with the Space Force. That is a different branch. And I, I just thought it'd be uh, I thought it'd be a good video just to talk about it. All right, guys. So anyway, moving along to the video. All right, uh, Space Force. So it's almost been a year since President Trump announced the sixth branch of the military, which is the Space Force. And I can remember that when that happened, the internet took a storm, and the memes. Oh my God, the memes, the memes, the memes about Space Force. They just flooded the internet, social media. Uh, they just came. They came out of nowhere, right? Some of them were funny as heck. Um, but uh, the first thing we'll talk about is the uniforms, their operational uniform that was recently announced, uh, not even a week ago. And I am going to play a clip. It's a really short clip, and it's going to. Uh, in case you haven't seen it, it's going to show you the Space Force uniform, right? So check it out. The newest branch of the military has unveiled its new uniforms. Take a look. The United States Space Force uniforms feature the same camouflage look as the other branches. Officials tweeted service members will look like their joint counterparts they'll be working with on the ground. All right, so uh, when I saw that, my first impression, I had two things that come that, you know, that, that they came to my mind, right? Two things. The first thing was when I saw the uniform, it was like, it's just the Army's it's just the Army's uniform, right? All they did was take off U.S. Army and put Space Force, uh, you know, the Space Force tab on there. Um, and then, you know, going back to the uniform, let's just go back right quick. This, whatever badge this is, I, I don't know what that, I don't know what that badge is. Um, you know, if I think it's Air Force related. If you're in the Air Force and you know what that badge is, can you put in the comments below? But... That was my first impression. It's just the Army's uniform. They 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 just took it and adopted it, right? Um, the second thing, second thing with the uniform that you know later that I thought that later came in mind was uh, the federal government saving money, right? Because you if 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 the military, if a branch of a military wants to change its uniform, right, it takes millions, millions. Millions. One million dollars. Millions of dollars, right? And it all goes into focus groups, concept arts, um, you know, all of the resources, uh, research and development, the testing, the distribution, the manufacturing, 
like millions and millions of dollars. So if they just adopted the concept from the army, then you know they didn't they didn't spend all that money. Um, so so kudos to them for saving the money itself uh, by just adopting the the army uniform. But you know what? I when I first heard Space Force, I, I was I was really I really wanted to see like a you know a different kind of uniform, right? And it just didn't happen. But even when the uniform was revealed, memes, right? <laughs> let me, uh, memes came up. Let me show you two. Let me show you a couple of memes about the uniform itself. Here's one. And this guy says, uh, I know this is hard to understand, but on the left there's a picture of camouflage, and on the right there's a picture of space. Study these carefully until you see the difference, right? And. On his same, I think it was his same feed. Somebody else kind of like clapped back at him. And this person says, yeah, but what about when they fight on indoor, right? And they're all talking about the uh, Space Force uniform. Here's one, right? And and we'll talk about this later too. Uh, and this guy says, I think you're really missing an opportunity here. And he has a picture of uh you know star trek uniforms and on the bottom kind of like you know each what the description is for each uniform itself right and this is the star trek you know th these are uniforms from the star trek uh tv series right so there is the uniform itself uh i'm really curious about that patch if you're in the air force and you know what it is um you know put a comment below because i don't i don't know what it is uh, anyway, moving on to the logo itself, uh, Space Force logo, bam, here it is, United States Space Force Department of the Air Force, right? And and we talked about this before, um, you know, but I'm kind of seeing like a Star Trek related theme here, and here, let's bring up the Star Trek uh, actual logo so this is from the United Federation of Planets this is Starfleet Command and that's that's their logo from the TV show um, like next generation stuff right and then put it side by put it side by side with the Space Force kind of looks the same a little bit right but uh, their logo um, you know my first impression I guess it's you know I guess it's cool but if you go back to the uniform let's go back to the uniform it is not the same uh, patch that is on the uniform itself so uh, the patch on the uniform is different but the logo is uh, I guess is their official seal now uh, alright so moving right along to the last thing we're going to talk about is the newly elected sworn in leader of the Space Force right so we have John W. Raymond he's a general in the Air Force and I'm going to put a, a quick little snip pick of, of who he is and what he does in the description box below. You can check it out, right? But uh, here's him being sworn in by Vice President. And, and all this happened, like, within a week. Like, within a week, all this happened. And, uh, you know, you know, I'm not in the Air Force, so I don't know, uh, I don't know much about uh, this general. But anyway... He's taking the helm. He's now in charge of uh, of the United States Space Force, right? So uh, that's pretty much it for this video. I want it to be really quick because I gotta I gotta really run and do something. But the bonus thing that you've been sticking around for, that's military police related, is this: a new weapon system is being added to our strat, right, uh, for military police. And that weapon system is not new itself, but the weapon system is. Uh, the Javelin, right? The Javelin is a man portable American made uh, anti tank uh, missile system, right? Uh, and this is really big news for the MP Corps. Um, and this has been talked about for probably about six, six to nine months or something. Uh, so uh, if you're in your line units now and if you're doing any training with this weapon system, um, you know, that's good because. That you're kind of ahead of the power curve, but right now where I'm at, uh, we haven't really seen these yet. But um, so that that's I think that's pretty cool. But anyway, uh, I hope you guys liked the video. 
uh, go ahead give me a thumbs up uh, but if not I will see you guys later man I gotta run